Welcome to the Heavy Rescue series on the County Line map in FS19. Today we will be responding to a few wrecks with our fleet of tow trucks. We have just received a call from the Sheriff's Department. There is a BMW sedan crash off the side road. Four airbags have been deployed. No injuries have been reported. We'll be heading out here in our 2010 Ford F550 wrecker. The wreck is just up the road here from our shop. We'll be there within minutes. I'm excited to be back here with the Heavy Rescue series in FS19. Many of you guys have been requesting me to do a video using the new trucks and today we are on the brand new county line map. And we are arriving here on location. Let's kind of pull off into the parking lot, assess the situation, see exactly what we have to do, and then uh, we'll get going here. We got to get uh, this uh, lane open as soon as we can. It looks like the entire right side of this BMW is completely gone. That wheel's just barely hanging on, and all airbags have been deployed completely. Uh, total sedan so it looks like they're tr probably trying to turn in uh, to this uh, store just took it too fast and went right off the road now we do have to be pretty careful here for this culvert pipe probably if we had a rotator we could have lifted it straight up and brought it onto road but with the 550 if we kind of get here in this one lane uh, the sheriff should be able to block that one lane for us we should be able to get the correct angle to pull it right out of here so let's hop in the uh, sheriff's truck and move it to block the roadway for us i really do like the look here of this 2020 uh silverado police truck looks so so cool so we got the sheriff now blocking the road and we got to do this as quickly and as safely as we can uh, the goal is to get the road open as soon as we can get the wreck off the side of the road in this case and then we'll get on with our day that looks good there, got to set the winch brake, uh, turn the winch on, and uh, we'll run the winch line. And that looks good. So I think we'll come back here, just kind of watch it. But I do want to watch the back of the truck, making sure we have no problems there. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy, but it's been good so far. Yeah, coming right out. Looks like a little bit of a uh, pull on the truck, you can see, but that winch brake really does help out there. And uh, no pieces, luckily, have fallen off, which is a good thing. And it uh, looks like no, we aren't really holding up traffic at the moment, which is also good. Usually, they are a bit impatient, uh, especially when the road uh, should really be open. But that's the goal, is to get it open as soon as we can. I really do like this wireless remote. Previously, we had to be in the, uh, the truck controlling it, but now we no longer have to do that. Let's hop in the 550. Let's bring it to the side of the road. Actually, I do want to wait for this one vehicle. The traffic really just tries to drive right through you, and that's not too realistic. So luckily, uh, we, uh, we were smart enough just to let the traffic go by. That looks pretty good there. Now we'll just drag it back to our shop. The police officer has a little bit more paperwork to do and then he's going to come by our shop to get a few uh, pictures of it at the shop as well for his report. Let's hop back in the 515 head back but first I do want to uh, bring the winch in just a little. That looks weird there. I really wish there was a way to really tell uh, the vehicle a little bit better than how we have to do it here. It is a bit tricky, but uh, we are getting it to work. And we are getting a new call coming over the radio from another sheriff in town. A flatbed truck with a gooseneck trailer crashed off the side of a gravel dirt road and is now uh, in the water. And I think this job requires our Mac. And I already did send out one of our trucks as well. So we got one truck there, which is a big Kenworth C500 rollback. Let's hop here in the old Mac and head out. No injuries have been reported. The truck is already a total loss uh, fully in the water. Uh, so we'll have to winch it out. And the trailer is 40 feet long with a few pallets and a skid steer. That's what's being reported. 
I really do enjoy this Heavy Rescue series in FS19. It's quite a lot of fun to go around on different maps and respond to Rex with a great fleet of trucks. We are continuing to build our fleet, which is awesome, and pretty soon we will be building a brand new shop. I've been looking for the perfect shop size, the perfect look, and uh, the perfect yard, and that will be coming probably within the next few weeks, having that new shop. Now on this uh, rack, I believe we will be using multiple winches, we'll be behind the remotes of a few uh, winches, and that will be pretty interesting to see. In the past, I've always just used one winch, but I think today, uh, being that this is such a heavy uh, pullout, that, that we're going to have to need both trucks uh, for the job. And I can see our C500 here in the distance, and the sheriff. I can't even see uh, the uh, truck and trailer, and I see it down there in the water. Take a look at that. That was one rough ride, even a little pallet off the uh, roadway. So let's take a quick look. Looks like we have to drag it from back here. Initial uh, looks and thoughts are just pull it right back out the same way it came. Otherwise, we could pull it out, drag it out this way, but that's going to be a little bit of extra work. And wow, but if we could get it up here, uh, we could disconnect it and take back the uh, silver auto on the rollback, and we do have to clean this up as well. So let's get the truck turned around, get the C500 uh, turned on, and get everything in position. This will be a bit tricky, but I'm very excited for uh, the challenge. We'll get turned around here. Looks like just going too fast. Probably the load was in position correctly on the truck, which helped lead to this. Now we did bring a big, big muscle, that C500 to help out. I'm not sure this uh, old Mac uh, Holmes record would do it, but we'll get it in position here. And the entire road is for us as well, which is good. So two trucks, uh, winches I think should be good enough for this. That looks good. We'll get the uh, winch going on that. And let's get the C500 turned on. Now I did feature the Heavy Rescue series back in uh, 15 and 17, and I just really do enjoy this series. Now we have a front mount winch on this uh, truck, so this one will be good. And oh yeah, direct pull right out. That will be great. That looks good right about there. So we'll get the uh, winch going on there, and let's get it all chained up. We have both winch lines attached, ready to go from both our wreckers to uh, the truck. Now I actually had to grab a hold of the truck instead of the trailer. So this will be a bit tricky. If we could actually get uh, the truck and trailer out of water, we should be able to get another one back in here and just drag the truck right out. So let's get winching here. Now I really need to be in a good uh, picture here just to see our uh, wreckers in the trailer. So let's get winching quite a lot of weight we are currently dragging right up and out and if we could get the PJ out of the water that would be great and then we'll disconnect it but two inches really no problem here and that's great to see I think now that we know our trucks are in a good position we'll just come back over here and keep watching uh, this load We could actually see the water coming out of the cab there. A bit tricky, but uh, we are making it work. I'm not sure exactly why we can't strap down to the pallets. Uh, sometimes when I do test things, it doesn't really work uh, when we are filming, but that's okay. Yeah, we should actually be able to drag the truck right up, and the trailer will probably come right alongside, which will be pretty good. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for all the continued support here on the daily videos. I really do enjoy uploading every single day here to YouTube. It is a ton of fun. So how this is working, the trailer will be right alongside the road on this side of the guardrail. And I think that should work fine. And we'll disconnect and put it right on the uh, C500 uh, roll uh, back. That looks so cool having two winches here, and usually uh, you would have two uh, winch operators, but today we are uh, just using our two remotes controlling them. I think that this actually worked out a little bit better than dragging it from the back of the trailer, because now there will be, this trailer will be right alongside the road in perfect position.
we are making some pretty big dirt areas here in the grass from the tires not really wanting to go through it but wow very uh, surprised that we're able to get this on one big uh, pull now one thing we do not want to do is jump over those cables probably lots of stress on them a little bit more and then we should be able to disconnect the uh, PJ trailer And that looks good. We'll release the tension there, get to the uh, trailer detached, and let's uh, also get to these uh, removed. And I actually do want to probably move this one up the road out of the way. Now I have noticed when you do have two inches, you do kind of run into a few problems like this. But other than that, I really do like having two inches. Awesome, so we got that moved up out of the way, and I think that we should be good there. And we got that detached. Let's actually uh, disconnect the winch there, and we'll bring around to the back and get it ready to go on the uh, back side for winching it up onto a rollback. I really do like how uh, these winches are able to detach and things like that. It's such a cool mod. Awesome, let's get this turned around here. We'll probably go in this field a little bit. Luckily, there's no uh, crops in it. to turn the winch on. Now what the uh, winch turn on does is it idles up the truck to give us that extra power needed and also disconnect the trailer. Perfect. And let's see, so it looks to not exactly be in the correct area. We'll hop in this just to fix the steering. That looks good there. Now sometimes filming these, it's a bit tricky, but I really do enjoy them and can't wait uh, to continue the series here in FS19, getting these new uh, rollbacks, new wreckers, and these new winches and things like that. I actually have to pull this uh, for just a little bit to release the winch. Let's see, can we go behind the backside and release it? And there we go, we'll get to the uh, truck uh, all strapped down there. Everything looks good. We, we'll put a strap down here, right there at the wheels, and we'll put one over here. Awesome, so we got everything strapped down. Let's hop back here in the C500. Overall, having two trucks here was very beneficial. Now, the farmer did say he was going to come pick up the gooseneck trailer himself to continue on with another truck, which is good for him uh, not to let uh, something like this kind of stop him from uh, doing his work. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's heavy rescue video responding to that BMW crashed off the roadway and then this truck in the water. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.